life never stops teaching, so we should never stop learning. Hello everyone, Namaste and welcome to the new academic session 2077 and our new digital platform for online classes. It's me Ram Mandari, one of the faculty member from Science Stream. As it is the beginning of the session, we have designed a curriculum for science, including various interesting topics under the different branches of the science. Basically, we have two different topics under physics, that is measurement, force and motion. We have classification of elements from chemistry. Similarly, we have cell tissue and organs from biology for this term. Let's start with the first unit, measurement. Are you all ready? Here we go. Before we study about the measurement, we must set the objectives and here are also few objectives mentioned. First of all, we'll be trying to find out the meaning of the measurement. Similarly, we'll be introducing the various terms of the physical quantities. Similarly, we'll be listing out the importance of the measurement as well. And we'll also discuss about some standard measurement system. And also at last, we'll discuss on some numerical problems. So let's begin with the chapter measurement. Measurement means simply a process. It is the process of comparing the things, but the, how we compare the things that really matters. We need to compare the things scientifically. In order to compare the things scientifically, there must be something which is as a standard value. When we compare unknown value with the standard one, then that process is known as measurement. Simply in the definition, we call it as comparison of unknown quantities with the non-standard quantities. There are also some of the tools for the measurement. Here you can see uh, we have used in the ancient times as feet, palm for the measurement of the length. Similarly, we also used to use mana, pathi for different volumes. And also we used to uh, see the sunset and the sunrise for the time. But due to the development of the technology, we have various different tools available these days. We can see watch for the time. We can use meter scale for the distance. We can also use as a beam balance for the uh, masses and varieties of the other instruments for the precise measurement in the science. But children, remember that only the physical quantities can be measured. Then you must be curious that are there something which cannot be measured as well? Yes, students. Now I'm going to make you clear there are some other quantities as well which can never be measured. That are called as non-physical quantities. Therefore, science has divided the quantities into two different topics. They are physical quantity and non-physical quantity. Physical quantities can be measured and non-physical quantities cannot be measured. Here are some of the examples like for the mass we have kg mass and for the time we have watch and for the temperature we have instruments thermometer. Similarly, the non-physical quantities comes under the abstract things. Abstract things means like our dream, imagination, similarly love, sympathy. These things can never be measured. These things can only be felt. But dear students, remember that there are two different types of physical quantities. One is fundamental quantities, the other is non-fundamental quantities. Let me describe you about the fundamental quantities. Fundamental quantities are the basic quantities. That means they are non-dependent to the others. Likewise, in the English literature, we have alphabets and those alphabets are independent to the other. But in the word, the word is made up of the different letters, the different alphabets. When one of the alphabets get missed or due to the change in the alphabets, the whole word gets changes, okay? The word may not be the sensible word. So in this way, fundamental quantities are those quantities which play very vital role in physical quantities. Similarly, they are also fixed in the number. They are not in very large number. They are fixed in the number. As like in the English language, there are fixed alphabets, 26 alphabets we have. We also have fixed number of the fundamental quantities. But in the derived quantities, derived quantities are made up of the combination of the fundamental quantities. Likewise, the word was made by the combination of the letters, the derived quantities are also made by the combination of the fundamental quantities. Since it is the combination of the uh, different fundamental quantities, therefore, this is depending on the other quantities. 
and there are unlimited derived quantities. Here I have listed out some of the physical quantity with the SI unit and these are length which can be measured in the meter, there is mass which can be measured in the unit kilogram. Similarly, we have other different varieties of the physical quantities that you can see here like time, thermodynamics, temperature, amount of substance, electric current, luminous intensity. These are all fundamental quantities and in the right hand side you can see kg, meter, second, ampere, Kelvin, mole, candela, these all are the symbols for the SI unit. Let me talk about the derived quantities now. There are various physical quantities under derived quantity as well. We have force, pressure, energy, power and various different types of the derived quantities. So the units are also given here along with the symbol that you can see on the screen. So these all quantities depend on the fundamental quantities. But children remember the units of the fundamental quantities are called as fundamental units and the units of the derived quantities are called as the derived units. So now let's move to the importance of the measurement. So we can easily understand that the, the measurement is very very important in our daily life. When we use to measure our clothes, when we use to measure the table, desk, in our house, we always use the measurement. So measurement is one of the basic need in our daily life activities. Similarly, it is also required for the precise measurement in the field of the science as well. And this time, even we use measurement there in the hospitals and the health sectors. It is equally useful while constructing buildings, roads, we need the measurement. So the importance of measurement is very huge. Similarly, let me describe you about the standard systems of the measurement. We have especially four different standard systems of the measurement. Let me tell you one by one. The first one is CGS system. CGS system is one of the French system and it includes three different quantities like length, mass and time. Length can be measured in centimeter, mass can be measured in gram and time can be measured in second. Similarly, we have another system that is FPS system. It is the British system of the measurement. It also has three different quantities. They are same length, mass and time. And in this system, we use foot to measure the length. We use pound to measure the mass and we use second to measure the time. We bring a cake, but we don't buy the cake in kg or gram. We buy it in pound, right? So that means while buying cake, we are using FPS system. That means the British system of the measurement. So the another system of the measurement is MKS system. MKS system is also known as the metric system of the measurement. In this system, again, the three quantities are there and those three quantities are length, mass and time. Length is measured in meter, mass is measured in kg and time is measured in the second. But finally, we have the latest system of the measurement that is the SI system of the measurement. SI system is the international system of the measurement. It includes all the fundamental quantities and its units. So in the right hand side you can see the different SI units. So that means this SI unit has made the uniformity in the measurement worldwide. It also contains more physical quantities. Before SI system there were only three quantities discussed on all different three systems of the measurement but now in the SI system, more quantities are included. So this is very much useful for us. So after this, I'm going to introduce you about the measurement of some fundamental quantities and this is very important. There are various fundamental quantities, but out of those all various fundamental quantities, I'm just going to pick three important measurement, three important fundamental quantities. Those are measurement of the length, measurement of the mass and the measurement of the time. Let me take the measurement of the length at first. Length is simply a distance between any two points and length can be measured in the SI unit meter. But do you know children, there is a standard one meter. When the first time one meter was discovered, at that time there was a conference of all the scientists and they gathered together to make the standard one meter. So how that one meter was designed for the first time? It was like this. Standard one meter is the distance between the two consecutive gold lines drawn on the platinum alloy 
kept at 0 degree Celsius and 760 mm of FG pressure at International Bureau of Weight and Measurement that we call as a IBWM which is in France. Similarly, let me uh, give you the information about the measurement of the mass. To know about the mass, first of all, we need to understand the meaning of the mass. Mass is simply the amount of matter contained in the body and its SI unit is kg. That means we measure mass in kg. Do you know again how the standard 1 kg was discovered for the first time? It was done in this way. 1 standard kg is the mass of platinum alloy cylinder having same diameter in the height and it was also kept at 0 degree Celsius and 760 mm of FG pressure at International Bureau of Weight and Measurement in France. You might be curious that why they should always be kept under 0 degree Celsius and 760 mm of FG pressure. So there is a condition that things always expand on heating and contracts on the cooling. So due to the change in the temperature, the standard length might change. So to avoid this, the trend of keeping those standard uh, measurements uh, at 0 degree Celsius and 760 mm of FG pressure was done. Similarly, let me explain you about the measurement of the time. Time means simply the duration between any two events, that is the gap between any two events. Its SI unit is second and also there is a standard one second. One standard second is taken by cesium 133 atom to produce 91926317701770 vibrations. In the other meaning, one second is also defined as one out of 8600th part of the mean solar day. So that was the standard one second. So children, this is all about the unit measurement. So at the last, let's exercise our brain. There is a question, why is unit of force called derived unit? Since we already got the idea of derived unit, now this is not our big deal. So we know that force means the product of mass and acceleration that you can see clearly on the screen as well. Mass can be measured in kg and acceleration can be measured by using the SI unit meter per second square. That means here kg one time, meter one time and second are used for two times. So this means the unit of force is the combination of the three different varieties of the units. So that is the reason it is known as the derived units. Similarly, we have the another question here. So why is it necessary to supervise the weight and measurement time to time? Yes, this is very important to supervise and monitor the weight and measurement time to time. The first thing is to bring the uniformity. Second is to stop the chance of the misuse. Even in the market, sometimes there can be cheating because of not properly monitored weight and measurement. So in order to avoid those cheatings, uh, we need to supervise the weight and measurement time to time. So this is all about the measurement chapter. Thank you for listening to me. In the next session, we'll go to the another topic from the physics portion that is force and motion. So till then, stay safe. Stay healthy. Thank you.